everyone! Welcome to this tutorial on how to administer the Rapid Mathematics Assessment. This assessment is a valuable tool for evaluating learners' math proficiency quickly and efficiently. By the end of this video tutorial, you'll have a clear understanding of the process and be ready to conduct the assessment with confidence. So, let's get started! Before you begin the assessment, make sure you have the necessary materials ready. You'll need a copy of the Rapid Mathematics Assessment Teacher's Booklet, Learner's Booklet, a paper and a pencil for scoring, score sheet, and a timer. Familiarize yourself with the instructions and content of the assessment to ensure a smooth administration. Here is the teacher's booklet. This is your guide in administering the assessment. It consists of the tasks, the time allotted for each task, the answers, and the instructions that you will give to the learner. You will also see some icons which will remind you on what to do. The first icon tells you to read orally to the learner. The second one is an instruction for you to do before and during the assessment. The third one means allotted time for each task. And the last one means allotted time for each subtask. For example, let's take a look at the teacher's booklet. You can see here the different icons needed to be considered. For task A, number identification, we have given 55 seconds to do the task. We are going to read orally to the learner, those with icon number 1. So this one, here is a number. You will answer some questions about this number. Of course, when we say this, we are already showing that number which can be found in the learner's booklet. Then. We will give the learner 5 seconds to study the given number as instructed by the icon number 2 as shown in this side. Next, we will read the questions to the learner and give him or her enough time to answer, considering the allotted time for each question. For the first to third question, 10 seconds, and for the fourth one is 20 seconds, because he or she will going to write the answer on the booklet. As simple as that. Remember, establish a relaxed report and comfortable environment with the learner. You may start some simple conversations about the topic that you think may interest him or her. You have about 1 to 2 minutes to do this. It will be good that the learner perceives this assessment as something like a game or an activity to be enjoyed rather than as a test that learners dread. You may tell the learner the following. This is not a test and your score will not affect your grade in mathematics. There are some tasks that are needed to be answered orally and some by writing in your booklet. You need to do each task within a given time. I will use a timer to know when the time is up. Then, when the child is ready, start the assessment. Now, let's take a look on the learner's booklet. It contains the tasks that the learners need to perform, either orally or in writing. There should be one booklet for each learner. Teachers, please be guided and strictly follow the teacher's booklet as you go on with the assessment. So after filling out this information, you may now proceed. Learner's Score Sheet This is where you indicate the score of the learner for each item. You will also see a column for remarks, where you write incorrect answers, strategy use, and other important information regarding the learner's responses. And that's all! Thank you for watching!